Hello, and welcome to the 19th Bo Cameronian Arts Awards on set. I am your moderator, my name is Miriam, and I would like to welcome the nominees for Best Musical Direction for Musical Theatre. So tell, tell us about how you began your journey as a musical director. How did it begin? Well, when I first entered CPAC, uh, it was more only for the uh, music education journey. But um, they've been doing a lot of concerts and then the biggest concerts of the year would be like a musical. Every year they host, we host musicals. And then um, uh, from there, I joined their music ensemble at first and then and then um, into their vocal ensemble. And then um, after a few years, uh, I got into the role of uh, being the MD. And then from there, I started picking up. And then, well, it's now my responsibility to, to lead yeah. the music ensemble. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wonderful. Cool. Um, how about you? Uh, I started working with Liven Lang uh, in 2019 with uh, Sepet the Musical at GMBB. Yes. Yeah. And then. So that we had Melo and then recently we had Sankan Chil. Yes. Yep. So quite quite recent for me with musical theatre. Because before that I was mostly just performing, composing, producing and all that. Yeah. Um and, and with performing at Yeah, yeah with with my sisters called the Impatient Sisters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My band. That's my band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um and how about you, Benjamin? Uh when I first started MDing, I was only doing a part of what an MD should do, which mm -hmm. is more on doing sections, doing uh, helping out with the leads on you know uh, the solos and mm. things like that. So um, I, well, I'm with Monday Show, and uh, Dominic is the uh, teacher over there. And he, I sort of expressed interest one day, mm. and I said, "Hey, I've been performing, and I would like to try out you know music directing yeah. and." and I know it's going to be like a long journey and there's a lot of things to learn, but I, I really trust his process. He was guiding me mm. all throughout how to music direct. And uh, so I, one of the few memorable ones that I remember doing was Fame, uh, which was staged at Kale Pike. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I sort of did that sort of-ish <laughs> by myself. Okay, wow. Um, so I was quite proud of that. But before that, we did little little, little, little shows mm. like um, Tick Tick Boom, Avenue Q. Yes. Um, I don't remember. Spelling Bee. Uh, we did Spelling Bee as well. Yeah. And... Mm. Uh, once on this island is my most recent. Your most recent. Which yeah. is, yeah, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and, and you've been nominated in it. First Thank time you. as musical director. Ooh, Again, happy, happy. congratulations to both of you, Thank all you. three Thank of you, you for being nominated <laughs> um, in this category. Um, so let's, let's go into the, the whole process of musical direction um, at this stage. Uh, what do you think are some of the most crucial stages um, when it comes to musical direction time is a very important thing to actually put up a, a show mm. the lot the more time you're given the more time you have for practice and actually enhancing your show making it much better and better mm. but um because we run we operate in a school environment we deal with students and not professionals from already in the industry itself so every time we try to build talents and to put up is this show like within a short time frame of like two months or even lesser. Oh. Do they audition for it? Or? Yeah, we do have auditions and then like see whoever fits which role. Sometimes it's hard to, to, to actually choose students because there are so, so many talents, good talents, and then you find it hard to actually shortlist them to actually fit that particular role. Yeah. That's but a at good some problem years, <laughs> some years, you <laughs> totally don't have that talents that you would expect to come for auditions. Yes. Right. So sometimes it's just like ups and downs and then we just have to work around and find ways to make this work. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a different thing every single year. Every single year. Yeah. Um, and, and what about you, Irina? You gotta just knowing the story and what what can you do as the hmm. musician. What what does the story needs from you? Hmm. The underscore, the song. How do you arrange? Does the scene require big energy or an intimate feeling? Yeah. So arranging that. So sometimes also when I do it. I look at it in a, like I'm producing the the talent, like how 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 do I make this song work? How can they should they sing it like that? Should they play it like this? Yeah, yeah. Just figuring out how music can complement the story. The story. I think that's the, quite crucial. 
for musical theatre, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is it similar? Um, yes, mm. a little similar, but definitely, definitely a lot of uh, midnight coffee. A lot of um, fights. <gasps> you know, how do you? Okay, we'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> you survive without going. Wow, okay. Uh, love, yes, uh, arguments and fights and, yeah. and, and, and uh, heated debate. Well, excited debate, right, I would right. say, between uh, me, director, and choreographer. Because mm. um, I love, I'm so lucky to have this team who uh, we all have our input, our own. Uh, interpretation of the story where we just sit down and dish out you know mm. when it comes to the story I think yes uh, there's many crucial points but I think that this is the most crucial point where before we even go into the cast we sit down and we like hasha 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 until we all agree mm. to like okay so that is the sort of the direction that we're gonna go mm. uh, with that understanding only then we can help the cast move the story in that same direction. Mm -hmm. So it's very collaborative in a sense where we help inspire the cast. Hey, do you see what we see? Let's go move in this direction. Uh, I think that the most crucial part to answer your question is simply just us sitting down and realizing that there's so many ways to go with the story, yeah. but what is needed for it? Right? Exactly. Yeah. So once we have that, Stitch up. yeah, and especially musical theatre has so many components. We have the musicians, we have the dancers, we have yeah. the ensemble. We have, <laughs> yeah. you know, even yes. light and sound plays such an important, mm -hmm. crucial role in building the story and moving the story because every part we believe tells the story, and we want to just basically give everyone a. So instead of just the director say, I want the set like this, I want the light like this, I want mm. the sound, I mm. want it to like this. So everybody has an ownership in the area that we do. So we want to encourage them to be artists, to be creative and say, I'm going to tell the story. You give me the script and I'm going to interpret it this way and I'm recommending that, that, that. So, you know, that is that very... So I'm so happy and so lucky to be a part of this. That helps me grow as a storyteller mm. as well. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, that's that's the crucial part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do you find that the collaborative way uh, was that the same for your yeah, processes? Yeah, I guess I mean because when you do a show, it's just it's not a separate thing. You know, you gotta consider everything yeah. to tell yeah. the story and make make sure that it flows nicely, naturally, not just like. Oh, the music is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just have to keep the, an open communication. Right, and, yeah. yeah. That's like that's the key, right? Yes. Communicate. Yeah. Because if not, it will just stumble down. Stumble like, yeah. oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I did want to... Um, it's, it's always curious how much um, tweaking you do to something you create based on the people you audition, for example. Um, is that how do you how do you deal with that? Uh, well, yeah, compromise is a big word here, <laughs> <laughs> because you always have this mentality that okay, this is uh, we're gonna set the bar high for this production this year. But then sometimes the the, the people that come for audition um, are not the ones you would expect to actually enroll yes. for this. The ones that can actually do it doesn't come for audition. So how uh -huh. can we you know mm. balance this kind of stuff? So in terms of compromising, sometimes we do have like, uh, we have to like change the keys, shorten the P's, cut here, cut there, add it here, add it there, skip here, skip there. So to a point where sometimes it feels a bit awkward, but well, just to make things work, we have to do um, necessary arrangements just to make it uh, look good in a live performance. Yeah. I think just our job is to make sure we bring the best out of the performer. Mm. We're not supposed to like, oh, you gotta play, you gotta sing like this. Yeah, no, I wrote yeah. it this way. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just like this. No, yeah. yeah, it's we have to make them comfortable so that it, that they can give the best that they can. Mm. If we scare them, intimidate them, then what's the point, right? Mm. Then you will see. Even the audience can feel like, oh, this person is not in it, you know. So we gotta make sure we bring the best out of everyone. We keep motivating everyone, bringing the energy in. <laughs> I think you guys were, is at a bit of a advantage per se. I don't know. I, I'm comparing in a sense where you have a musical that you are building yourself, you're creating. So there's a bit of a freedom that you can, you know, liberty right, right. to do 
sort of, you know, whatever you want. But uh, I'm more traditionally music, Broadway musical theatre, where we're quite constrict to, I cannot change anything. Mm. You know, some music even, like, for example, if we, are, we, if we were to do Sondheim shows, we cannot change a single <laughs> yeah, note. Right. I mean, as we yeah, all know. Yeah. So that is the million dollar question in Malaysia. You really, your choices are as limited as the people who comes for audition. Mm. And simply something that we can't, we don't have a control over. You have to just make do. I mean, producer already give him a nah money, do show. You know? <laughs> and then like, what do you do? People who turn up for audition yeah. like that. So, uh, we got to admit that sometimes in our experiences, we hear things like choreographers say, I got to water down my choreography. These are not dancers. I got to simplify some parts because they can't sing those notes. Because that's the, I think that's something that I think is still a journey. It's still a, 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 a growing process for Malaysian musical theatre, especially. Because sometimes like when you have like, like a group of people they're like so good technically and then you have the average one and then you gotta like how do you balance exactly. that right you can't like it's a, yeah. yeah so I, I don't think we have a like a ground. definite answer for that definitely yeah. find a middle ground and compromise again it, it's scary it's scary you can't sometimes you can't but I, I know you guys can <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> to what extent do you mm. compromise I think um, you know? every Every show would ha there would have to be compromise. Like um, in in what sense it would have to be depends on in what sense. Sometimes it's uh, you like you mentioned. Sometimes you have got a really strong bunch here, and then you mix with that and an average kind of uh, bunch, and then you just have to find that that balance and make sure it doesn't tip, and the audience won't be. Won't, won't be able to tell, oh, I think this one is better. I think that one's not so good. The audience can actually tell. So um, I think putting up a musical is to also find balance and make sure that the audience are enjoying and are entertained and not like, you know, start to like criticize this and start to feel like, oh, this doesn't feel right. That doesn't look good. So I think like at the end of the day, does it serve the purpose of the story mm. also, right? Mm. We just want, you want to force it and then you're not telling the story anymore also. Correct. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's so important. Serve the story. Serve the story. Yeah. 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 I think that's yeah. the that's, most... That's how everyone's goal is to serve the story. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 You raised a really important point and that is um, whatever that I do and everybody else in, in the production, it has to serve the story. Yeah. Um, so coming to your, your work in Melo the Musical, um, how did you, A, fuse, you know, contemporary and folk yeah, Malay yeah. music, but also within the context of a very historical <laughs> colonial Malaya. Um, yeah, how was yeah, yeah. that process? Like, Cause, you... Yeah, I didn't want to like force the traditional part of it. I don't yes. like, suddenly there's a joggate here. Uh -huh. or something, right? <laughs> yeah, so it was just, because the base of the music is still in the musical theatre mm -hmm. style, the structure and all that is still musical theatre. So I took, I have a rabbana and a violin just to highlight. And the traditional part is only the act one. Yep. So I had the rabbana and the violin to just highlight moments. Maybe yeah. it just play a groove. Or had a, I, I took a lot of asli motif okay. for the first one. Okay. Yeah, for the first act. And, so, and was it, um, because it only appears in act one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Were there moments where you were like, oh, should I put it in? Because the, the act two was because uh, the story sets in 1940s and the 80s, so the 80s was total disco. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In how Shaf and Vest Badrish wrote the songs as well. Yeah. So, act two wasn't so challenging to mm. arrange. Yeah. What did you enjoy, or which, which part did you enjoy the most? The, the horror part of it. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> tell us more, tell us more. Oh, it's like I'm in a rumah hantu. Like, like, okay, right? You're trying to scare this audience, but also not uh, make it too predictable. Yeah. Like, the ghost is coming kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and fi like figuring out how can my band play their instrument in such a way they're not playing the instrument, like what kind of effect they can do. Okay. So I had like my percussionist every night, he had a bottle and he just... <laughs> <laughs> and then like my sound engineer Hadi who just... Turn on the river, yeah. make it wet, just <laughs> every single night. So that kind of stuff, exploring sounds. Yeah. What can I do to make it, to make the environment 
scary. Scary. And I'm a scaredy cat. So uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for taking on the job. <laughs> Whenever I watch um, horror films, I don't know if, if anyone can, you know, some are relatable. Uh, but I, I always close my eyes, but I find myself having to like, you know, close my yeah, ears yeah. as well. Because the sounds yeah, in horror yeah. films are it's the the telling that it's, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the most horrible <laughs> thing ever. I love horror. Wow. Oh, I have a why? weird reaction to like when a ghost you pops laugh. up. I laugh. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? You. Uh, you. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Um, but we're coming to, to, to your production. Um, noted that it was in quite a small space. Oh yes. Uh huh. So how was that? How was that process like for you? How did you, you know, bring out the musical presence in it? Uh, well, the process was, we had. It, it actually originally once on this island is quite a big cast, mm. and the harmonies are colossal the harmonies are crazy like next level i've never seen and on original on broadway they the cast themselves mm. sing those parts but uh, because it's in such a small small space there were a couple of choices for us whether we um you know get the cast themselves to do it but mm. um back to the compromise that you mentioned yes, earlier yeah so a lot of uh, our cast didn't have that much time to uh, get with the harmonies and mm-hmm. stuff. And we thought that it would be nicer if the harmonies came from another section mm-hmm. right next to where the band is playing. So we got like two, four, six, eight uh, background singers okay. just for the oohs and ahs at the back. That is so important to once on this island. So what I did with the score was I had to break it in two. Okay. So I had to write for the ensemble on stage, the oohs and ahs that they are doing, yeah. and then the rest I have to give it to the, no, the background singers. Okay, okay. So I had to... Wow, <coughs> okay. Literally transcribe everything again <laughs> so then they have that that part of the score for them to sing that part of the score for them to sing mm. um yes the small space that you were talking about it's i i have to give the credit to brian mm. tan who did our sound such an amazing guy with so much brilliant ideas when we first engaged him he said oh i love a good challenge mm. so so you talked a little bit about how you had to sort of transcribe um and you know, uh, sort of divide yeah. um, the arrangement with the background singers, singers. as well as the oohs and ahs yeah. people. So yeah, t- tell us a little bit about, about that. And um, So creatively, I had to make a choice, make a decision based on what, based on, of course, number one, balancing, um, mm-hmm. you know, how much sound is coming from there or here, but... Brian worked his magic so well that it didn't really matter because the sound was coming from uh, speakers. Okay, okay. But also I have to, we, we have to consider that because it's in such a close space that it's so, in such a close proximity that we can already hear the sound. Mm. So if you watch the show and you were in the front row, you can, it's, though it's 3D. Yeah. So I can got... physically hear from yeah. the background and the cast. And overall, from the back, the yeah. band sound. Have you like worked out with Brian on how, like, who should be like on the mix? Or um, was it you left? Actually, up to more Brian? on he. I did what we. Uh, I did the work first, and then he was like, "Okay, give me what you have, and I will balance it according to what you said it." Mm. Um, that was his style of working, lah. Mm. So I gave him everything that we had, and he was like, "Awesome." Let me sprinkle my magic over this. And it was so fun. So, so fun. I think... In a close proximity. uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the relationship between space space and musical direction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, The band also is another thing. Um, We had Lee Han, who led the band for us. Mm. Uh, Amazing guy, amazing musician. He helped me a lot in terms of, you know... And this music, it, it, it has a very native... Uh, American and American, uh, 
like a island, native okay. island punya sound, like very, uh, what's that word? Native lah, you yeah. know, the percussion, percussion very percussion yeah. based kind of like style, kan? Yeah. So, rhythm was another crazy, mm-hmm. crazy, crazy stuff, yeah. you know, that coupled with, we literally has a, we have a song that has 12 parts, 12 Ooh. singing harmonies going Whoa. at the same time. <laughs> All twelve singing different things wow. at the same time. So it's uh, that's only the background. I have another four more SATV and the ensemble. So it's with the rhythm. It's massive. What was your setup for the music? The uh, we had uh, two keyboard, one guitar, one bass. We wanted on uh, drums. We wanted percussion, but I think we couldn't get any percussion. We had like, so we had to make do. Getting them together, Sid's broke was hair pulling, chair throwing, script flipping moments. Mm. <laughs> and that's what we love about the theatre. <laughs> don't we? Full of drama. Yes, yeah. Sid's broke the, the first time the cast meet the musicians. So yeah. we, we, we right, rehearse separately. Right. And then when we meet the first time, it'll be like, uh-uh. You know, like, will it work? Will it work? <laughs> yeah. the Brace light, yourself, right? you know, kind of like <laughs> late nights and things like that. So yeah. it's fun, la. it's fun. And yeah. in a small space, it's oh, mm. fun, fun, fun. Funner, funner. <laughs> funner, funner. Oh, okay, okay. We'll go back, we'll go back to the question of, of how space um, has influenced your practice as well. But um, I wanted to talk to you about Spooks, the musical. Sure. And um, as much as you know, you had a lot of elements to play along with. You had a lot of genres <laughs> to play yes, along with. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, tell us about that. It's a really tricky thing because uh, what we did was we went original. And the trickiest part of this going original is that we don't have like a, an example, a benchmark to actually follow. So whatever you do out there is that that has to be the benchmark already once we do it. So everything has to be like spot on and perfect. But... Um, we are dealing with, again, uh, a lot of young students. So people has no idea that what this whole thing is about. They have no reference, no idea. Everything starts from zero. And then you just have to lead them throughout the whole thing and then just make everything work. And it's pretty, pretty interesting, I would say, sometimes. Yeah, the directions will be very interesting. But then sometimes you just pull them back together and then just, just go full, full force with that. Mm. And how, how did you balance the use of you know, different genres. Different genres would be like, uh, well, it's, you just have to make it work. Mm. Like some, some things we don't have like live instruments, some, some things you really need it live. Like guitars, you don't, you don't really use keyboards to play <laughs> guitar. Yeah. And horns, you need like live horns, <laughs> and horns and all those. So, and um, the tricky part also is that the music, the original music doesn't come with arrangements ready for your musicians to play. So again, right after auditions, I would have to sit down and figure out what do we have here? The list that we have in the instrumentation Mm -hmm. was like 20 over instruments, but we only have like 10 instrumentalists that can, you know, play all this kind of stuff. So I would have to go through a, well, some architectural engineering work in my brain and just like (laughs) map out what what to arrange for the musicians we have available and make do. And we try not to compromise those things that um, you can't really have like a keyboard oboe mm. or like a keyboard horn. Yeah. We try to at least have like live instruments for such parts to make it sound livelier and nicer. Did you did you face some of that challenges as well? I think from a low, I think uh, Shaf knew what kind of sound mm. he wanted from the start, mm. so I it, it wasn't that hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was and it was like pretty simple the normal rhythm section and then the traditional element so yeah yeah yeah, it's putting it together yeah Mm -hmm. okay um i i wanted to um perhaps as a final question to the group um what does what does it mean to you to be a a musical director um and b to be in the performing arts so what are the privileges of being in performing arts and what what does it mean to you what does it mean to me to be in I think it's uh, first thing you have to you have to enjoy your role, mm. understand your role, and then to be able to express and 
to lead with confidence and um, it's not always that you will get what you want, what you have in your, your mind and what you hear live usually doesn't coincide at the very first few tries. Um, I don't know, it's just, it happens yeah. in a way. What, what, what do you all feel? Well, <laughs> well, I feel all of us here, we have this gift and for us it's music. We're, we're good at music, we're okay, not bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Self-expression. Right? I feel like it's something that we should share it to the world because music does things with people, mm. it makes people feel something that they, maybe they can't express it with music they, they could and yeah. yeah I think you first must love bossing people around oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry just joking <laughs> no don't joke about it it's great <laughs> how my role from born out of a necessity that eventually became a passion uh, it's such an interesting journey to me because uh, if because I started off as a performer, performer, and mm. then I started a school, music theatre school, and then I teach as well. Mm. And because we couldn't find teachers, so I have to teach myself. Yeah. So that was from a necessity that eventually I found I fell in love with the whole mechanics of. Pro uh, producing a show, you know, what needs. So basically, I was just doing things to fill in the gaps. And then eventually, like, wow, it... There's so much more than just filling you in the know, gaps. You know, like, it's so rewarding, isn't <laughs> yeah. it, when you see your yeah. work out also there. When you, yeah. yeah, and when you work with people, and then you see your peers, it, it motivates, you know, like, mm. just listening to you guys, it feels so inspiring yeah. already. And then you just want to keep doing your craft and get better. And exactly. Get better yeah. and get better. A lot of satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the word, I think, inspiring. Yeah. Mm. I think for me, eventually, I sort of just found that ultimately, all of us are storytellers. Right. You it's know? just in what way. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In yeah. what way. Yeah. I want to say it through music. I want mm -hmm. to say it through... Because... For example, if like if you're doing Malo and you're doing Spooks and I'm doing Once on This Island, I I have it's as though I I always tell my cast I said when you go up on stage you need to come up with intention. Okay, so cliche, right? No, but but it's true, but it's yeah, true it's isn't true, it? Yeah. To, but because if not, why are you on yeah. stage? But you come out with yeah. intention and say, listen, I I have something to tell you. Yep. And yeah. that is what will grab the yeah. attention. And of that the energy people. is so strong if you really believe in it yeah. and then you give yeah. it right. So yeah. I think that's where, for me, la, that's where it's coming from, that, that um, need, the mm. urgency to say, to stand there and say, listen, I want to tell you something. Right. Mm. And hopefully you will enjoy it in the process. So you got to be bossy. That's so bad. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you got to yes. love bossy. So the <laughs> but guys, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't say sound like this. Sound like this. Ah. Yeah. No, no, yes. no. How are you? want it like this. No, 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 no. This, this. <laughs> I think because I you've got so much to do and so little time, this yeah. is where the bo being bossy thing comes in very handy. Yeah. You just yeah. want things yeah. done just like that. You're making decisions. You gotta, somebody got to yeah. make the decisions, Make right? the decisions, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very thank much you. For, you for sharing on that. I have one more final question. Um, how, how important is it to amplify your work? Um, what opportunities does that provide you personally? or provide to artists, um, if you have any thoughts on it. When you give and then people get inspired mm. and then people like, oh, hey, I can do that too. And then you start collaborating with other people and it builds a community, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I feel that Malaysian, it's not going to move if we are the industry and we don't move it and we sit back and keep complaining about how Malaysian is not. People are spending so much money to just to go to Singapore to watch shows. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so much things happening yeah. here so in our own backyard. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, so 
if we sorry, your question is how do we amplify our work, right? Yeah, how important is it? Yeah, there. Right, I think it's so important because we have talents here. We have talents here. It's just I don't know for whatever reason someone got like uh, something to go to the kata audition, but they can actually make for your show. You know what I mean? They, because they missed the audition, boom, and we there's some missed opportunities there. Just example. Mm. But what I'm trying to say is if you know, to amplify our work more and uh, keep doing, what I'm saying is keep doing and and and, and we can, through that, elevate. Right. You only yeah. grow bigger, right? Exactly. Like it, won't, it won't dim down. It will just yeah, grow. yeah. And, and hopefully in the right way. <laughs> we have Aswara. We yeah. have musical theatre school. I, I hear tailors are doing performing yep. arts. Yeah. UCSS is doing performance. So we are churning out performance year after year. Where is the job? Where the are job, the yeah. job opportunities? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are they going to find jobs? We are the forerunners to create jobs mm -hmm. for them. You know, I think to answer your question simply is to keep doing, keep doing, regardless of what the critics say, you know. Just because if you're bad doesn't mean you don't put up a show. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. we yeah. still have to, you know, to... Yeah amplify our work more yeah you know so Endeavor. let's not see it as a competition with each other or even with singapore or whatever but that's the thing though the pressure of being the best mm. the pressure of we need to be better be, yes but don't make it a the, the final yeah <laughs> the goal that yeah. is the goal yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's yes. my ceiling that's it <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, just the satisfaction of like keep just go back to why you do this in the first place. Just go back to intention, like what you said, mm. right? Yeah, like why yeah. are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Is it to be the best? Is it to be famous? I mean, nothing wrong with that, but yeah. then you will burn out in the long run, you know? But if your ultimate goal is if I place myself at a place where I want to do this because I want to tell a story. Mm. And once you've, do, you've done that, whatever people say, whatever, you have the satisfaction already, you're done. And people are going to talk anyways, regardless or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Someone do it, gonna, yeah. exactly. And maybe that's a way of amplifying the work as well. Keep, right. keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let more people talk. <laughs> yeah. You want people to talk about it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. wonderful. I think it's also to let people know that uh, the, the performing arts uh, here locally is actually not that bad you see i would say it, it's actually pretty good yeah. it's not just that uh well uh, overseas uh, productions are always better than ours yes we have a lot of uh, space to grow definitely but then uh, i would say that what we have we have that certain um, um talent in our own country and then we support that as well and i can see it's actually growing but it's slowly but steadily and surely yeah, yeah as like last time when i went into music education after i graduated so my neighbors would ask my family, so what is your son going to do when he graduates? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That is so sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's like the typical... So that, yeah. So we're trying to create like awareness that this is actually a thing here. Yeah. It actually is... It's, it's always uh, sad to see that performing arts is the first thing to actually forego when there's a problem and a situation. But it actually helps uh, developing a person so much more from the yeah, inside out. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts you. and your perspectives thank you. Thank you. and for thank you. all the work that you do. Please keep on going. Keep on going. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>